Hey everyone, yesterday there was a total eclipse here in the States. Myself being in the Jacksonville area and the total eclipse being closest in South Carolina, I decided it was an absolutely must-see, once-in-a-lifetime, possibly, opportunity. And, uh, you know, I've only been hearing Kurt talk about this thing for like four or five years now. Uh, so it's something I've known that I wanted to go see for a very long time. I've also known that this is not something I was going to try and make a huge video production out of because I just wanted to experience it, but I did manage to grab some footage from the event to share with you, and this is that. We went from Jacksonville to South Carolina. The whole trip up, it was raining and looked very bad, and in fact the weather forecast the whole time looked very bad. Um, the original plan I had was to stay somewhere around here in the Lake Marion area. Uh, there's lots of parks and different uh, like boat ramps and things in this area. But by the time we got to this part of I-95, which is about four hours into the trip, we still had about an hour and a half before the total eclipse happened. So we decided to book it west as far as we could to get away from the clouds. Uh, any, anywhere on the eastern seaboard in the summer, you get a huge afternoon thunderstorm build due to the the incoming sea breeze and the and the air on land colliding and causing thunderstorms so the further west we could go the better and we ended up let's see if I can find it oh there it is we ended up here in the middle of a big farm in where is this somewhere South Carolina Fort Mott South Carolina it's the most farmland area you'll ever see out in the middle of nowhere and it was perfect so here we are in the middle of the field that we found and let me tell you there was just cars everywhere you could possibly park so we ended up just on the side of this little farm road with quite a few other people but there was huge gatherings all over this tiny little town the next little clip is at five minutes before the total eclipse the temperature had dropped a ton and the crickets and birds were going crazy as it was going to be nighttime. It was pretty, pretty weird. And also the light is very red. All right, so the main event. Here's a couple time lapses of the whole thing. One from just a stationary open GoPro and the other from a GoPro with a reflected image of the solar eclipse. Here you can see how close we were to having cloud cover, but it really did seem like as the shadow of the total eclipse approached, it made the clouds in the area dissipate, but the clouds around us didn't. I had my DSLR with me, and I had the 200mm telephoto lens on there, but I couldn't set any of it up until the total eclipse happened. 
So this was all just done by instinct, but I did manage to get some shots I'm pretty pretty happy with and uh, Well help me remember what it looked like this is really what I saw in the sky the GoPro makes it seem much lighter but this is much more in line with what it actually looked like. My regular handheld camera, I just left it running the whole time, and this is clips from that. I had no focus on actually taking video or anything like that. This is just what it happened to pick up. The cool part is this one doesn't do light compensation, so you'll actually get to see how dark it got. The only regret I have is that I didn't do an external camera to get all of our reactions be because I had kept Jonathan and his brother out of the loop as to what would actually happen to during totality. I convinced them it wasn't going to get very dark, and their reactions were amazing. There it goes. Look at the cumulus cloud over there that's getting lit. Oh, yeah. Just like that, it was over. It was amazing. Just thinking about it still gives me goosebumps. Uh, it's just a truly indescribable thing. It's what I, I got video, I have video to show, but no video really does it justice. It, it's something you really do have to experience in person. And I'm very glad that I did. But yeah, thanks to Kurt for convincing me that this was something I absolutely needed to experience all those years ago. I'm glad that I was able to do it. I'm glad the weather worked out for us. I'm glad Slag got to experience it and his brother. I don't think it's something they probably would have done out on their own, so uh, it was cool to share that with them. And uh, yeah, we made it. We made it home through the traffic. There was six accidents within 30 minutes of the eclipse and uh, more than an hour and a half delay on the highway. But we ended up taking a bunch of farm roads through South Carolina, which was actually a lot of fun. And we made it to Georgia, hit the highway, we're greeted with an amazing sunset, and that was the wrap of the day. So I hope you enjoyed my little perspective on it, and uh, that's it. Until 2024, that is my solar eclipse experience. Next up on the list of things to experience, a Falcon 9 launch and landing, or possibly a Falcon 9 heavy launch and landing. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next adventure.